Hi, this is Tom Baxa from Baxa Art Academy and BaxaArt.com and today I'm going to do a little demo on how to mount a sketch and get it ready for painting. Uh, this can be a little tricky at first. Uh, you have to work quickly. You kind of have to get a feel for how wet the paper and the matte medium need to be. But once you do it a couple times, you get the hang of it. Okay, we have our sketch here. It's printed out on Epson Ultra Premium Matte Presentation Paper. The painting size is 8 by 10 inches, so we need to trim the paper to the exact size of the painting. And I like to use a little bit thicker paper. Uh, it works best when you're soaking it and mounting it to the board to have something a little thicker. So here I just use an X-Acto knife and I have a little rubber cutting board underneath and we just trim off the white right to the edge of the size of the painting. Okay, you want to prepare a board to mount the sketch on. Here we have a piece of illustration board uh, with a one inch border drawn around. You mount the painting in the center of the board. Illustration board could sometimes warp, especially if you're doing something larger. Um, so I do like to use masonite, which is a thin piece of wood, about an eighth of an inch. You could put a border on it, uh, but in this case we're going to actually mount it uh, like full bleed with the sketch right up to the edge. Okay, let's talk about some of the tools we're going to be using. We're going to use Liquitex Matte Medium to uh, kind of glue down the sketch to the board and it also acts as a sealant. I like Liquitex because it leaves a little bit of a tooth. Then uh, this is just a standard one and a half inch brush. It's kind of soft. That's Purdy brand. You can get it at a hardware store. And then you'll need an ink roller or brayer, they're called to roll down the sketch. I uh, think it's a good idea to have something underneath a piece of cardboard because uh, it gets a little sloppy when you roll down the sketch. And then you'll need a tub of water to soak your sketch in. Okay, so it's time to soak the sketch in your water doesn't have to be very deep because it's just a piece of paper. You want the water to be cold and you just put the sketch in there fully submerged and you only soak it for the amount of time it takes to coat the board with a little bit of the matte medium. So you put a little bit down you want to make sure you coat it well covering the entire surface and to all the edges. Again, this is where you're going to have to get a feel for it a little bit. If it's on too thick, uh, the paper might not stick right when it dries. If it's on too thin, the paper will bubble away and you'll have to start over. So you'll have to fool around with it a couple times and get the hang of it. So now you just drain the sketch, let a little bit of the water drain off. Then you want to put it down on a smooth surface and squeegee it off just a little bit with your hands. You want the paper to be damp but not real wet. Now you want to mount your sketch right on the board while the matte medium is still wet and the paper is still damp. The paper stretches a little bit when you soak it so you want to line up two edges and we'll trim it a little later and then when you got it where you want it you take your roller and now you press down hard and roll it down so it's nice and smooth there's no air bubbles in between and you'll see it's making a little bit of a mess it's it's smushing out the matte medium but that's okay it doesn't have to be perfect
you want to just wipe it up. You don't want to use the real wet matte medium to coat it. Some, sometimes you have to wipe a little off the painting itself. So now while it's still wet, right away, you have to put on another coat of matte medium. And this kind of seals it up and glues it down. Again, you want to coat it real well over the entire surface so that it dries evenly and stays flat. You want to let that dry. I usually let it dry overnight, especially on a larger painting. And make sure everything's flat. If there's any air bubbles, you're going to have to start over. <laughs> uh, but now remember I told you the paper stretches a little bit. So we're going to trim the edge off where the paper sticks over the edge of the masonite. So you just get your cutting board. Get your X-Acto knife and just trim off that bit of paper. Sometimes you have to do it on two of the edges. This time we just have to do it on the one. And there you go. Now once it's all trimmed up, you want to do a second or maybe even a third coat of matte medium. Make sure you paint the edges of the board as well. And you'll notice up top there's a couple of white spots where the ink of the paper kind of came off. Sometimes you could touch that up or just paint right over it. And you're good to go. Well I hope you enjoyed this video from BaxArtAcademy.com and make sure you check the video description below here. I've made a little list of some of the materials and uh, there's a couple of links down there for you to check out. And I wanted to let you know about uh, an ebook that we're releasing called Get Work as a Fantasy Artist. It's full of all kinds of great tips on how to get work in the industry, how to talk to art directors, building your portfolio, what art directors are looking for in a portfolio, all kinds of great stuff. So be sure you check that out.